Abdul Ruman Mustafa is from the war-torn country of Syria. He fled to New Hampshire with his parents and eight siblings. No matter what this 12-year-old boy has seen in his young life, he has a smile that lights up a room. So when you came here, could you speak English? No. Was it hard? Yes. How did Indy help you with that? It's like they have college kids sometimes come in and like they help us and like they tell us everything we don't know. Like we can ask them, like, and friends too. It can be difficult for the kids to, to learn English, especially as a second or possibly third language. Jamie Pendleton is the director of the Inti Academy in Manchester. Inti is a nonprofit organization that offers hope, education, and activities to build the self-esteem of Manchester's kids most at risk, immigrants and refugees. So the main focus is English development language and literacy skills, get the kids to talk English and to practice in a safe environment. Inti uses the game of soccer as a hook to bridge cultural divides, a sport that needs no one language. But Inti has more than just soccer to provide to immigrant children. There are academics and art. Despite the fact that they, they all speak different languages and they're from different cultures around the world, they love soccer, all of them. Max Latona is the co-founder of Inti. So really, Inti uh, began with a soccer program back in 2009 quickly added an academic enrichment program and then built the uh, the art program uh, several years later. With the help of Jamie Pendleton, NT put together a curriculum of after-school academics, art, and soccer, of course. The programs are free and they are all year long, helping children who otherwise cannot afford to take part in these after-school activities. We have children from all over the world, families from all over the world. so. Uh, as many as maybe 10 or 12 African nations are represented in our um, programming. Uh, the Nepalese, uh, Bhutanese community is very um, strong in our community. Um, we now have a lot of Middle Eastern families, uh, Iraqi, Syrian refugees. Could you speak English when you came over? Um, not really. I knew hi, and that was pretty much all. Metatrice Nijamer is from Tanzania, where her parents lived through the genocide in Rwanda. She arrived in New Hampshire as a young girl. She started Inti at age eight. We learned all the new things of, about America because we were just, we were beginners, and so like it was really nice to like like have school stuff and then go over there to learn more and then play something we really enjoy like playing soccer and so and so I really learned like the American culture and like the language and like all the different places like the states and by name and so forth. She's now in college studying to be a teacher placing much of that credit with Inti. I'm glad that Inti came into my life. One of Inti's partners is the Courier Museum of Art in Manchester. So you can dip the smaller end of your paintbrush in. Teachers from the Courier spend time with the children of Inti, teaching art classes after school and during a summer program as well. So today we're doing um, a clay turtle um, candle holder. It's based on our exhibit right now that we have in the museum. Some of these kids probably prefer kicking a ball around, but for the kids who struggle with English, art is another language. I really find that those students have such a great um, pride with doing their artwork because this may be one of the chances that they really get to exceed and excel. <laughs> He has also developed a theater program working with the Manchester Music School. Each one with their special musical event talent. Remember Abdul? He and his younger brothers and a friend play the role of narrators in this play, having some fun for the cameras while learning to read the words of their new language. And very tired. There's like a huge difference between the first day. I feel like some of them were kind of, you know, like, uh, I don't know about this play. And then once we got, they got their roles and they got to start practicing their parts, like they really took ownership of what they're doing. Their mothers proudly look on, grateful for this second chance. They helped me a lot because uh, we come here. We don't know anyone. They take him all the time and um, he plays soccer with them. Even he, he tried to read and and he know the people. The Brennan Town Musicians. They um, 
love to sing songs and dance. Irina Vombeck works for the International Institute of New England, the organization that resettles these families to New Hampshire. I feel um, very glad to see them that uh, they have a normal life here and knowing about their hard transition from where they were several years ago or even several months ago and where they are right now i feel very happy for them frida juna moved here from congo two years ago when she was just six learning english through inti i'm here because when i was little i came here with my cousins was it hard to learn yeah Inti refers to the Incan sun god, a source of light. Despite the dark times these kids have witnessed, Inti using sports, English, and the arts to give these kids a second chance. We feel that the community of Manchester in some ways uh, owes this to the children. Um, they're part of our community. We have a responsibility to them.